ranch helping the fishermen haul in the net. Whilst a shark hovers above. February 1627, a Dutch ship landed along this coast. This is Whittleby Conservation Park and we're looking at Decrest Bay. This is where you have cliff top parking for your caravan with an ocean view. There are no services here though. We saw lots of evidence of people having some fresh seafood. At low tide, look at all the wild oysters on the rocks. Standing on top of Laura Bay Headlands in the Laura Bay Conservation Park. If it was a sunny day, the water would be blue and this would look so much better. But this is what grey clouds do, give you grey water. Here we are at Sandy Cove. Nice green and blue waters on this gray day. As you can see, we're at Denial Bay. Denial Bay was named on February 7, 1802 by Captain Matthew Flinders, commander of the H.M. Sloop Investigator. During his extensive exploration of the Australian coastline, Flinders' hopes of finding an inland freshwater river were denied here. Hence the name Denial Bay. To take a walk to the end of the Denial Bay jetty, and directly on the other side of it, you may not see it on this gloomy day, but there is Seduna. This is Davenport Creek. The French mariner Nicholas Bowden first visited here in 1802. Davenport Creek was named by Naval Officer Bloomfield Douglas during a survey expedition aboard the Yalata in 1858. He named the inlet after the Honorable Samuel Davenport. Beach. 